In this video, we're going to be talking about defense, the latest patch, what you need to know about coverage, how it applies to Madden 21, what you can learn from it, and how defense is going to be changing. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're new to the channel, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. I do want to let you know that um, for those of you guys that have not subscribed yet, if you want to know um, how to get access to all my videos, go ahead and subscribe, but also go ahead and turn on your notifications that's that's the best way for you to never miss an upload on the channel okay guys so i wanted to talk about one of the a patch that is coming to the game on tuesday march 23rd they are definitely changing some of the ap limits so as you can see or as, as you've probably seen on twitter or on the forums it says that offensive and defensive ap limit will be increased from 12 to 15 the special team ap limit will be increased from two to three the qb playmaker is absolutely uh very very high it's going to cost six ap to put a playmaker on your receiver the route tech is going to go up to 4 AP. Uh, QB Playmaker is now 10 AP for an improviser archetype. So it's just going to be absolutely crazy. Now, one of the other things that I did want to let you know about is what's happening to the defensive side of the ball. I actually think it's going to change the game. And it's also going to be combined with a patch that happened last week. I actually got some messages in the Discord about it. If you haven't joined my Discord yet, exclamation point Discord. And that is that uh, one step ahead is now going to be 6 AP across the board so what that practically means for you as a defensive player is with the ap going from uh, 12 to 15 and one step ahead going from three to six literally doubling in price it is going to be impossible to have more than two one step ahead corners on your field so you could theory have two one step ahead corners but your opponent could have uh, three or four route techs depending on how, how they want to structure their offense so the bottom line point is it's going to be a little bit harder to run man coverage especially with the lack of one step ahead when you combine that with a latest patch that came out that actually i think did some changes to the cover three defense which we're going to show you here in just a second you're going to find that you're going to find yourself playing a lot more zone now if you have not got my latest defensive ebook on the nickel 335 wide it is actually a zone based scheme now obviously we mix in some man coverage and use some of the man coverage meta but the primary objective is actually to run a lot more zone coverage. And so we're gonna to talk to you today about a defense that I think um, that had honestly kind of gone away a lot, at least in my playbook, hadn't been calling it anywhere near as much, but I think it's going to come back. So I have the bunch here. Uh, I've got the bunch and the bunch tied in from the uh, my latest ebook, which is in my opinion, the best offense of the game. But I wanna to talk to you um, specifically about the play, Mike Blitz 3, and really in particular, Cover 3 in general. So I got cover three buzz i got mike blitz three i also have uh some cover three concepts from the nickel normal as well as some zone concepts from the 335 normal so this is what i want you to notice so this is mike blitz three and we're not going to do anything different to our zones here right off the start i just want you to kind of watch how this outside third will play so i'm going to audible to play z spot this is kind of the play that you've probably seen about a million times we're going to run the drag with the playmaker do that whole thing now if you watch that r1 receiver what you're going to see here is he is going to clear out but if you take a look there you notice that that third is going to jump onto that corner route now that's something that has changed it's something different than what was in fact if i go to the play uh if i go to that same play mike with three and then i audible over here to the play mesh i want you to also notice that the same thing is a very similar thing is going to happen in this combination as you'll see right here that circle receiver is not gonna you see that right there he is not open he's not open and i'm just jump into instant replay and talk about how big of a deal this is this is absolutely huge. It changes everything from the defensive perspective. Cover three has been absolutely buffed. You're gonna start seeing Mike Blitz three all over the field once again. If you take a look at this, as you see here, it plays it properly. He now is gonna jump on that outside corner. And then I've got that inside third or inside, uh, yep, inside third, deep middle third, zone on the left side of the bunch playing very properly. So this is a, an absolutely incredible, incredible thing. Now I wanna talk about something else really quickly. 
and I don't know if I have the plays in my playbook uh, to talk about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you this out of the play Flood. So if I go to the play Flood, now Flood is known as a cover three killer, okay? Because that circle receiver is gonna get open deep if I throw this ball. Now, again, I just want you to show you right here, you're gonna notice that I can't really throw the ball because the inside third is going to jump on this. This is gonna change how you play defense, I guarantee it. Um, let me show you this again. So this is, again, Mike Blitz three, this is just a cover three shell, and I just want you to watch on the right side how everything plays here, and if you take a look at that that out route even but if you take a look at that defense you see that it follows up the field very very nicely so now what I want to show you is I'm gonna jump out of this I'm gonna jump back into the instant replay and I just want to show you kind of the the replay of what's happening and before the patch this cover three right here would never play this you could pass lead this streak to the right and this cornerback would be like standing over here guarding nobody. They've now patched it. He now plays properly up the seam and does a good job of bracket coverage and takes away that one play touchdown. So what does this mean for you in your defensive scheme? In my opinion, it means you're gonna be running a lot more cover three and maybe even, you know, maybe even using some cover three concepts versus some cover four concepts. So uh, really quickly, what I wanna do is I wanna jump back out of here and I wanna jump back and put these zone drops on default and just show you a couple of things here uh, with this. So I'm gonna come out in the play cover four drop and then on offense I'm gonna grab uh, a different play from my audible let me see what I got in here uh, I've got the mesh I'm gonna take the mesh post out of here and I'm gonna put the flood concept in there and then what I want to show you is this play Jets dig now Jets dig you would expect this to probably be a little bit different so uh, we're gonna put those hard flats out there we got the purples and we got the outside third and I just want you to watch this R1 receiver as he goes throughout his uh, throughout his action and here's another thing you see you've never seen this before if you played this game two to three days ago you would not see that at all you would see r1 as a wide open receiver running down the seam now with the latest patch as you can see right here they cover him perfectly i mean literally perfectly right up the seam he's on a man to man he takes that route away so this is actually huge for offense or i'm sorry for defense defense is going to have a lot of opportunity out of this especially i think you're going to see a lot more cover three and honestly the number one play that we talk about in my three to five wide defensive ebook we talk a lot about cover four match we also talk a lot about cover three um, and how to use that so again here's cover three now we'll show you a little out route and what you'll notice if you notice it right there he actually played both routes uh let me jump out of here and let me jump into instant replay i just wanted you to see what i'm seeing these outside thirds are super super buffed they're going to play stuff that they did not use to play watch this right here so again i've got this little out route watch this route you see he plays he sits on it for just a second see that he squats on the out and then look he sees oh there's a vertical route oh i gotta turn and run vertical and he cover and cover recovers onto the vertical receiver now um another coverage that is actually or another route combo that is actually very popular um for breaking this coverage we'll show you this one more time again you see i mean he literally goes right up the seam but another coverage that is very popular that um or not coverage but another route combination that is very popular from the bunch that you're gonna see a lot of trying to beat cover three is the smash return we're just gonna straight the slot and uh here watch what happens you see there he does not go to the corner route now as you see here the corner route is wide open right unfortunately that outside there doesn't cover that in, in my opinion you kind of i think you should but that you know because it's a little bit more of a delayed route he doesn't cover it and they're able to complete that so that's something that you're going to need zone drops to be able to stop but as you can see here i mean this outside third doesn't really cover it okay but they also don't get bombed over the top for a one play touchdown and you can you can cover that that other route to the tight end so cover three what do you take away from it In my opinion you take away the fact that cover three is a lot better than it used to be there's a lot more uh, validity into running a cover three defense and actually using and applying this you'll see here that this corner route no longer is open but also the streak is no longer open as they take away that vertical threat very very nicely so what i would encourage you to do is to test out mike blitz three again test out some cover three matches you're going to be surprised at how effective the cover three is post patch there's a lot of things that are going really really good for the cover three defense right now now if you want to get my full defensive ebook on the 335 wide that doesn't just show you how to run a cover three scheme but shows you man coverage cover three cover four cover four zone drops cover four match cover two all of the things that you need to do user rushes run defenses blitzes that full ebook is absolutely incredible it's going to have you playing better defense in no time 
time you can get that full ebook in the description literally walks you through how to stop a lot of the most popular formations but what did you think of the latest pads patch let me know my number is 208-218-6900 text me if you have any questions and if you want to get that defensive ebook it is available in the description